You guys aren't even on a tripod. You're like wedged up into the windowsill. So if you start sliding, someone shout, I'll grab you. It smells like someone's making pizza. But I think my mom said she's making like lasagna or something. <laughs> Just sat down to film this and now I'm starving. But I got the coffee. How do you review the year without a nice cup of coffee? Today we're gonna do a yearly review of my YouTube channel, 2023. That's crazy. Actually, when I was doing the research, I actually was like, wait, is this 2022? It's about to be 2024, which it is blowing my mind. We could start off with how many times do you think in a video this year I've said I needed chapstick? How many times have I gone on coffee runs? How many times have I broken into random song or a song of my own? How many original little ditties have I come up with this year? At least 10. I'm a jingle writer, not even for real products for my own YouTube channel. That's kind of, I'm gonna start putting that on my resume. YouTube jingle writer. Today's video is for the goobers of the channel. My regular viewers. You don't miss a video, don't miss an upload. You're always around. I see you in the comments. We can talk stats. We can talk like, you guys like this video, you hated this video. Let me tell you behind the scenes of this one. But this yearly review is also for people who are new to the channel or just pop it every so often. Wonder what she's doing now. She's still drinking the iced coffee, still chipped lips. We get it. This video is for those people too because maybe I'll talk about a series that I did or a video and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I missed that one. I'm definitely gonna go check that one out. You should avoid this video. Everyone hated it. I don't know why I put my heart and soul into that video. Stuff like that. I don't think there's too many of those videos in this list, so that's good. Get comfortable. Get settled in. We sip my coffee. Literally printed out paperwork for us to go over. I feel like we're doing like a job review. Oh, this is kind of fun. This year in 2023, right now, as of when I printed out this piece of paper, we're at 181,194 subscribers. Holy cow. That means we gained about 9.9 thousand subscribers this year. The channel got 2,860,000 views. That is crazy. That is amazing. That's more than last year, which then translates into the channel had 567,000 hours of watch time. Hours? Y'all been putting in the work. This video, this is, I'm actually super proud of this fact. This video you're watching will be my 99th video posted this year. And then I'm going to post on Friday, my after snaps video, and that will round out 2023 with me posting a hundred videos. That is nuts. I didn't even know I was doing that much. That means like there's 52 weeks in a year. So that would be 52 times two would roughly be like 104 videos if I put out two a week. That means I only missed like four uploads. What? In my mind, I missed like a hundred. And then if you roughly think about it, I at least edit each video for like three hours, some for like oh, 12 hours. That's like roughly 297 hours of editing I did this year. And that's 12 days straight of editing. Me just sitting at my computer. Must edit the video. Must cut this joke. Oh, the coffee. Oh, she's talking to herself too long. Delete the footage. Delete. At least 12 days. Probably more like 15, 16 straight days of me sitting here editing. <laughs> I need to get a new office chair. I, I know I bought this chair and I put it together for a video, but I sit here so so much. My butt has completely ruined the padding on the bottom and starting to rip. So I like the little cushion things. This is really nice. It's like a gaming chair. I'll also maybe invest in a new office chair or at least a butt pillow, something like that. Um, <laughs> maybe that'll be a video in January. Me searching for the next butt pillow. Or I could sew one together, a crafting video. I'll combine the ideas. <gasps> okay. Shelve it, we'll talk about it later. The breakdown of the age groups of who's watching my videos, 50% of you guys who are watching are 25 to 34 years old. And then I think the next biggest percentage is like a little bit older than that. And then the next percentage is like a little bit younger than that. So that's kind of my age range. If you fall in that age range, I gotcha. I, the stats show that you are here. You should be here. Thank you so much. If you're out of that range, good. You're skewing the results. I like that. You're a little outlier. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, let's talk actual videos because that's what we all came here to talk about. I'm boring you with statistics. These are the most viewed videos we had this year. Okay, buckle in because they all sound similar. I have a series on my channel called Never Have I Ever where I go to restaurants and drive throughs and I try things on the menu that I don't think I'm going to like just to try them. I think I started the series in 2022, definitely kept it up this year. The most viewed videos on my channel from this year. At the top, we have Never Have I Ever Sonic. That one came in at 69,052 views. Those are great numbers. That was probably my favorite one to film. I found the most food that I liked there. Except for like, I had like a 12 foot long, not 12 feet, a two foot long, was it two feet? Like a two foot long hot dog? That was not good. Cherry Limeade. This was like one of the top selling ones that they have, I guess. What? 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 You get like a pop of cherry and then like a subtle come up of limeade, but it's not like, ugh, lime, face pucker, oh my. No, it's like such a subtle limeade. 
and it's like a little watery in a good way. It doesn't taste all like syrup. That, the drinks are, I understand why people are going for the drinks and they have like a happy hour drink thing. Yeah, the drinks are really good. I love like the little crushed balls of ice that Sonic uses in their drink. And someone in the PO box sent me a Sonic gift card that lives either on my desk or in my wallet. And I've been meaning to go back and do another video of me and my friends sitting in the drive-in and trying all not all. Oh my God. Wasn't there like 30,000 combinations? I said, trying a bunch of the different Sonic drinks. We, we're going to go back and do that next year. Put that on the docket. We're going to go back to Sonic. Steak and bacon grilled cheese. This is really good. What the f I'm like mad that it's good because it's going to take me 40 minutes to get lunch now. You know what? I'm tired of hot dog buns and burger buns and pretzel buns. I want a thick ass piece of white bread. This is so good. I want to shout it from the rooftops. I don't even really, I never get steak at places. I mostly avoid most of fast food bacon. I never get fast food steak ever whoever done did this whoever done whipped this up in the test kitchen give them a raise give them someone's firstborn child my comment on the top is my new song steak and bacon dropping soon such a good word steak and bacon steak and bacon steak and bacon oh oh steak and bacon steak and bacon steak and bacon what 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 steak and bacon steak and bacon at your mom's house steak and bacon steak and bacon at your grandma's house steak and bacon steak and bacon at your parole officer's house who steak and bacon steak and bacon Parole officer's house. Why did I say that? At your parole officer's house. Megan. <laughs> Where's, I don't I try the hot dog? Your wiener, ma'am. I'm like, oh, thank you. So, uh, it doesn't look the best. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, I don't really like, anytime they try and take hot dogs or burgers or meat and they like overdo the consumption of meat. No, it turns me off. I'm not really a fan. I don't need a foot long hot dog. I don't need a burger patty from a burger that weighs five pounds. Like just give me the normal amount of meat and make all the accessories or the condiments or the bun like the fun creative part. That was a fun video. I'm so hungry right now. I think about that steak and bacon sandwich all the time. Probably like once a week. Not even kidding. I am the biggest <laughs> fan of that. The second most viewed was Never Have I Ever Panera, which is funny because I think at Panera I found the most disgusting, disappointing food. 59,015 views. This was filmed 10 months ago, so it must have been like in the early months, probably like February of this year. I remember I ordered the food online and I filmed this on the day of like a blizzard. Like a blizzard was rolling in. Bought the food and then I parked like on the other side of this parking lot where I wasn't around anybody because the snow plows were coming through through and I basically like hot boxed my car with fast food or like steamed up all my windows by the time I was filming that I could not see out so the snow plows were coming by people are like the road conditions were so bad and I'm sitting there filming and never have I ever Panera and I like could not see anything like I opened I cracked the door open after filming that video and I was like <gasps> What's going on out here? It's like a winter apocalypse. For some reason, Panera feels like Potbelly's older snotty cousin. They're both families that live on the same block, but Panera has a pool. And it's like, we get it, Panera. Your parents bought you a, a Range Rover for your 16th birthday. They feel a little snooty snotty to me. And so many people in the comments are like, that's spot on. That's exactly how I feel about Panera. Like it's a little snooty tooty, even though they're not doing anything that crazy. Someone said, your description of Panera was spot on. Snooty snoots. <laughs> I can't even see it, can you? There's some onions, some chicken. Smells pretty good. Let's try it. My problem is that this is all bread. All I'm chewing is the bread. And then as I'm swallowing, I'm getting like, oh, buffalo. Oh, the buffalo. That's what my mouth is saying. It's a lot of bread. We love bre oh, buffalo. Right, like it's so much bread and, and nothing else. Ugh. But yeah, I filmed that in a blizzard. <laughs> The next third most viewed is Never Have I Ever Arby's. 52,801 views. The only person I know that eats at Arby's is my grandma and maybe my mom on occasion, probably when she's with my grandma. Right, and I tried a Reuben, but I think it had sauerkraut on it, which I discovered I absolutely detest. What, wait, 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 wait. what is that? What is that? That's not cheese. <gasps> Why does that smell so bad? What in the fuck is that? <gasps> I'm in over my head. This is a corned beef, Ruben. <laughs> in over my head. It's just drying food. I'm in over my head. Oh, that just, the taste of that, it threw me back to like a keg party in a basement in college and someone kicked the keg and you get the last little bit of beer and it's skunky and it's gross and it's dingy and you're like, man, I wonder what time it is. And you're like, it's 11 o'clock. It's not even that late. Like how long we been in this basement? That's what that tastes like. <laughs> Of work into those and I'm really glad that you guys like the series. I like the different videos I make because they bring out a different part of being creative. That's like one of the best parts of the Never Have I Ever series. Me trying to put into words what something tastes like so you can at least relate to some of it because you're not in the car with me tasting it. <laughs> and I can perfectly picture that. <laughs> 
I do not like Rubens. Or sauerkraut. I detest sauerkraut, apparently. My top 12 videos are all never have I ever videos. <laughs> Besides, I posted a week in my life video, work, travel, family, chaos. That was posted on June 2nd. And I'm surprised it did so well. That's like the most vlog type video I've ever posted. The boring, the mundane, like what I did. It was a good week for me because I think I ended up tra- Yeah, it says in the title, I traveled. I don't know what the view count on it was, but you guys really liked it. And I remember the comments being really nice. There's definitely an audience for mundane slice of life vlogs and you're one of the coolest, chillest gals of the tube. So I'm pretty sure I'm not alone in saying that we are here for Christine Snap's weekly vlogs. I don't know about weekly, but okay. If this was a weekly thing, I wouldn't miss an episode. Okay, should I do more week in the life vlogs? I also have to film them ahead of time because they take so long to edit. Should I do like one every two months maybe? I think I was doing like one every four. You guys let me know in the comments down below. What do we think of doing like a week in the life vlog? We must talk about the good and the not so good. The least viewed videos on this channel this year. Teaching an old dog new tricks. Got 7.2 thousand views. Um, what the heck? Uh, I think it was just me in the backyard with my dog Riley. And I borrowed Jerry's sister's dog. They had like a tunnel and the sticks you weave in between. We were just hanging out, teaching them new tricks. I don't know if the thumbnail sucked or the title. Who knows? There's a little different type of video for my channel. I really, I really I don't know. It's not a bad thing. There has to be a video that comes in last place. Next least viewed uh, with 8.5 thousand views was Haunted Movie Theater Episode 2. We, I've talked about it again and again and again. Me and my friend Cole did a paranormal adventure series, three videos long, where we went to Milwaukee, got to look behind the scenes and do like some ghost exploration in a movie theater in Milwaukee. The thing is the Oriental Theater. But that video came out so much later because Cole got a concussion <laughs> and the editing took forever. So I don't know why that video did so poorly. I don't know if it's because it's so different from what I usually do on my channel. I know like the mic sounds were a little off, like the sound quality was a little up and down. It's because we didn't have mics on ourselves. We only had the mic on the camera so that could be a problem too and then three it came out so much later than the rest of the series like it didn't have the momentum of like it being a series or it being halloween like <laughs> i don't even know when it finally got posted seven months ago it got posted in may and it was supposed to be a halloween <laughs> that's how long it took oh my goodness it was supposed to be a halloween video so really yeah I understand why that did bad but honestly i can't even tell you how much fun that was i love i'm a person who like loves you know, going to like play houses. Is that what they're called? Playhouses? Like theaters and going behind the scenes. I want to see what's behind the curtain, how the actors get from their dressing room to over here. I want to see the pipe works. I want to see how the curtain goes. I want to see everything. I love the behind the scenes. That's what fascinates me. Milwaukee has like underground tunnels. I cannot explain to you like what we didn't put in the video, how cool it was behind the scenes. Like this is such an old, beautiful theater with like fun lighting. We went like behind the curtain and then you have to like walk down, walk up. We were like in the belly of Milwaukee under the streets looked out of a scary movie it's so hard for me to explain to you how cool it was and the video was more about ghost exploration and hanging out in the one women's bathroom powder room if i find some pictures i'll throw them up you see us like walk down and go sit in the green room but besides the green room there was like machinery almost like an old school furnace type thing it was so fascinating even if that video didn't perform well i'm so glad that cole and i and Jolie got the opportunity to go do that and go explore and hang out. And then the next worst performing video with 8,600 views is the YouTube year in review video I did for 2022. <laughs> like, literally, this same video last year only got 8.6 thousand views. But if y'all could do me a favor and at least get this video up past 8.6 thousand views, <laughs> that'd be great. I can't believe the year of review video is like one of the worst performing videos. Probably because it's it's just me talking. Me talking about the content I already made. But that's fine. I like these videos. I think they're one, important, and two, they're good to look back on. I just wanted to say, the series I have going right now on the channel, so I started posting twice a week this year. I guess at the beginning of the year. I post on Mondays and Fridays. Mondays are more like a main video. Friday videos are always like me running an errand. It was originally like me going to for coffee runs. One day of the week when I would go get coffee, I would take you along with me. I would ramble about stuff. I'd maybe write Riley would be with me. We'd be go trying a new drink or whatever. And then we started calling them after snaps because it is the after thoughts I have of the week. And then because it comes out on Friday and then it's like a snapshot of my life because I'm running an errand. I'm going to go get coffee or whatever. Like you're in the car with me. You're doing a little FaceTime check-in. It feels like for like 10 to 12 minutes. Um, I have the Never Have I Ever series, which is going to keep going strong since those videos perform so well. Of course, I'm going to keep that series going and I like it. And there's like endless possibilities of videos that we could do. Okay. I have some ideas for the new year. And of course, including we have to branch out we definitely need to do like non-chain restaurant types of those videos. I just need to do even more research into that. <laughs> I also have Q&As, just like the Week in the Life vlog videos that I do. I think every 
six months. I set a reminder on my calendar to do a Q&A. And then I have um, a series called, it's called like Without a Recipe, but I obviously know that that series is already called Without a Recipe by the Try Guys. It's very unoriginal on my end. I want to call the series like Who Wants to Be a Baker? Because it's basically like a branch of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Because on that show you get lifelines. And when I bake stuff without a recipe, I give myself lifelines. But I don't want to put Who Wants to Be a Baker in the title because I don't think the videos will do as well. I think when I put Without a Recipe, it like hits in the YouTube algorithm a little bit better. So I want to start like transitioning. How we kind of transition like the coffee run videos into the after snaps. Now most people know we call it the after snaps. I want to like slowly transition the without a recipe into the who wants to be a baker. Maybe I could like make a title card for it and introduce the videos as that. Uh, we've made a bunch of made banana bread, carrot cake, cranberry bars, lemon bars, uh, whoopie pies. <laughs> I forgot about the whoopie pies episode. Whoopie! I remember having fun with that episode purely based on the name. Whoopie! And we can branch that out too. It doesn't always have to be baking. But then I can't call it who wants to be a baker. We need to workshop ideas for that series. <laughs> Cause I'm coming up with blank. <laughs> okay, videos that I really liked making this year or I like how they turned out. I'm include funniest fan letter I've ever read. That one came out like two months, a month or two ago. Off the cuff, I was just running to the post office. I decided to read this letter in the car and it was so funny. I forget her name now, but I feel like it's like on the tip of my tongue. She just wrote the funniest letter. Very like stream of conscious. I remember genuinely laughing in my car. We're all just here reading a letter and it's the funniest thing. When I did the never have I ever MREs, that was a little like pivot for that series. I had been doing fast food. I had been going to restaurants, definitely out of my comfort zone. My friend from college, Scrummy, she reached out to me and was like, I think this would be great. And I have an extra one and you can have it. And I think, you know, it'd be fun to watch you try this. I really enjoyed that video. I got to try stuff I've never been able to try. Like a good idea, good concept, executed well. The drunk baking videos I did with my friends was like the can't see, can't hear. Baking challenges I did with my friends, Steven and Jerry. Those videos were really fun. And then we did a round two and we were drunk for that one. We had been drinking during the first episode and it finally was kicking in in the second episode. We filmed those videos back to back. I had them come over with like the, the false pretenses that we were just filming one video, but then... <laughs> Jerry and Steven are such good like <laughs> comedy wing men, I guess, because we've never all sat in a kitchen and tried to bake something together, even with all of our senses. So <laughs> also, I was like so giggly during these videos. It's just a good time. You smell it though. It has peanut butter on it. <laughs> it's hot. What are you doing? Who lives a life on the couch when they start me? You got, I shit. Suck a finger you got in shit on your lip. <laughs> You should double bag it though because it's so hot it'll like rip bigger the bag. bag. I don't have a bigger bag. Wait, my trash bag? <laughs> it's so fun yelling at them. What else am I supposed to do? <laughs> Oh, Jerry, I don't know if you could tell in the video. So we had opened up peanut butter and Jerry puts his glass without seeing, because he can't see, perfectly on top of the peanut butter like lid. <laughs> that part that you throw away. He perfectly put it on top of there. And me and Steven, that was the funniest thing we've ever seen. Like, what are the odds? What else am I supposed to do? <laughs> I had a really fun time editing this video, especially. You can tell, like, I took something so small as, like, Jerry accidentally bumping into me and made it this whole edit, like, on this part. <laughs> watch out, watch out, watch out. His name is John C. <laughs> I don't know why. I did it in the most recent, like, eggnog video, I think. Yes, when I was making the crust. I have never watched wrestling. I've never watched like, like WWE, you know, Monday Night Raw. But I think there's such good sound bites <laughs> from wrestling like that. For some reason, it is so funny to me. So like whenever I do the baking videos, especially in my kitchen, I'll always somehow add like a wrestling, like the watch out, watch out, watch out. Who's a good boy? And his name is John C. <laughs> when I was like making the crumbs for the eggnog thing, I was like hitting the bag and was making the sounds of someone like hitting the mat. Like she's on the ropes, here we go. Like, I don't know, maybe in another life I've always wanted to be either a WWE wrestler or like an announcer. If anything starts to go askew, <laughs> I will always somehow bring it into like a WWE reference. It's just like stuck in my head. Another video I liked, which you guys really liked too, was the waffle in the woods videos. <laughs> it was in Wisconsin. So different kitchen, different setup. And I was just making different types of waffles. That's it. And I just kept saying, waffles in the woods. We're making waffles in the woods. Don't do this. Ah! Smaller than my head, the base of my hand, bigger than the waffles. Never made waffles this small. I just see this. I just see this being messy. That video was really fun. It got me out of a normal routine and it got me in a different setting. So I think the creativity was hitting like from different angles. Well, we have to get the batter for the, for the, for the, for the, for the waffles. 
in the woods. And then at the very end, just like, as soon as I talked about it, I was like, I have to go film myself sitting on the side of the road eating waffles. <laughs> like, it has to be done. In the woods. I really liked that one. And you guys did too. You guys also liked, remember I did that investigative uh, video about the Pool Busters Inc. company? I remember getting a lot of comments on that video. This is great. You got to find another company. I love that you saw this idea on like an After Snaps video. And then we, like we had to deep dive into it. Let me find out everything I could find out. I even had Jerry make me a graphic for that. Snaps Investigates or something like that. Videos that I thought would get more love this year. Like I thought would do better in the views. There's like a, I did a crafting video where I sewed mini foods. <laughs> I thought that video would do better only because I feel like I constantly get comments. Oh, you should do more crafting videos. Or I keep getting crafting stuff in the PO box, the cross stitch, the crochet, which is literally sitting right here. Like it's on this table as like a reminder to do it. I know I just put out a video like last week about the reindeer craft, but that was just me talking about the aftermath of a craft. Me actually doing crafts on camera with you. I thought when I actually did the craft video that more people would watch it. Maybe it was because I was sewing many foods. Maybe it wasn't like the most universal craft, but then I also also was looking and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like the craft videos never perform. I only made one craft video the, the whole year. Scroll back. A, a video fully dedicated to doing a craft or something crafty. That was the only video of the whole year. And I always tell you guys that I'm going to do it or I'm going to do, I'm going to get on, I'm going to do that and we're going to do this. And the, I never did. I'm a liar. I literally have a note. I said, only made one. I apologize. So next year we are going to actually dedicate some time to making crafting videos. I don't know how they're gonna be that funny. That's the part that I'm worried about is that they're not verbally entertaining because you just wanna sit there and watch me cross stitch. I don't think, but we'll see, we'll try it out. I promise, Scout's Honor or whatever, we will do more crafting videos. I didn't realize that I was saying we were gonna do them and I only put out one. Shame on me. No wonder they don't perform well. I never put them out. Also, side note, don't know if you can see it sitting back here. Just wanna point out, the waffles in the woods video, because someone sent me that mini waffle maker. And the fact that they were mini waffles was so much better. I liked that waffles in the woods video so much that I bought. This is like a cousin machine of that one because it's the same company, I believe. This is a mini donut maker. I don't know how to make the dough for mini donuts, but we're going to make a video about making mini donuts. I'm so excited. I was like, if it's half as fun as the waffle video, oh, it'll be fun. I've never even made donuts. And they're mini. I'm excited though. So I, that's coming. The next thing I want to talk about is the biggest breakdowns I've had this year. <laughs> Mostly off camera because I think even if I was filming it when it was happening I've edited out of most videos and we'll get to it Especially this year with the addition of me doing two videos a week It was double the amount of editing double the amount of time I had to put aside to being on camera and I think it got to me a couple times this year I think I either told you guys on camera or made community posts about the fact that there was like slumps of time this year That I didn't want to be on camera. I was tired of seeing my face. I was tired of my own own voice. I just wanted to like not be around myself in the sense of I don't want to make any content. I don't know why I got into that slump. I think that also had to do with things that were happening at the same time was like my anxiety from other things was through the roof. I was having like some mental health stuff going on besides videos and making content. I also was like running out of time. Some weeks I would be busier and stuff would come up that was out of my hand. So I even had less time to edit, which put more stress on me. And then I also had some, a couple of moments of like really poor time management where the videos didn't come out on time or I made mistakes and the video didn't come out altogether. And and I'm very much a person that if I have a set schedule, if I post Monday, Friday at 5 p.m. and 2 p.m., that's what I want to stick with. Because I watch YouTube and I can't, well, now that I'm realizing it, I can't think of a single... No, I only watch one YouTuber who puts out videos as consistently as I do in the sense of like, I know exactly when his videos should drop. So I've kind of put, pushed myself into a corner of being a person who like, you guys expect a video from me certain days and certain times. And I'm very like rigid with my own schedule because it kicks my own butt to get the work done. That's how I like to work in a sense. But also I've put so much pressure on myself that if I, if the video is even an hour delayed, it feels like the world is ending. It feels like someone is taking my whole channel away from me and they're like, you can't even show up on time. You know, you don't get any of this audience. This is gone to you because you messed up. So I think a combination of everything really weighed on me a couple of times this year. And I just want to point out when it was. I didn't want to talk about it on camera because then again, it was the combination of me trying to be honest with you. But at the same time, I did not want to be on camera and I did not want to explain myself. I just wanted to be like, be left alone, take a break, come back and make fun, lighthearted content. When I filmed the Never Have I Ever Subway video, I was in Wisconsin at that time. I filmed that video like basically in the woods. If you look at the background, I'm like in a forest. When I filmed that video, I was technically on vacation. 
with my family. I think they were coming up the next day. I was supposed to edit that video while I was on vacation. So I went to like the local library and sat at this library for like seven hours editing this video while well, I was supposed to be just relaxing, reading a book on a porch somewhere. And then that video was coming out that day. It was Monday. It was almost, it was like 4 PM. I said, Oh, an hour should be more than enough time for me to export this video onto my hard drive, import it into YouTube. Usually takes me an hour when I'm home. The place I was in, the internet was so slow that it was going to take, I think three hours to upload the video and it needed to be out in an hour. And I had to start running around town, finding other places to upload a video. I remember that there's a laundromat and they had, you know, free Wi-Fi, So I go to this laundromat and again, the video is like not going to upload. It's going to be late. And I posted, there's literally a community post of me. And I said, you guys, the video is going to be up in like 15 minutes. I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. As I posted that, I said, oh, 15 minutes late. I'm looking at my computer and it's slowing down. It's now being pushed back an hour. It's now being pushed back an hour 15. Not only am I not enjoying my, va my, my vacation, because I've literally been staring at a computer screen for about nine hours that day. I tried to make it right and communicate with you guys that the video was going to be late. And then the computer and tech technology failed me and I kept pushing it back. So I had to keep editing the post and being like, oh, I meant this time. Oh, I meant this time. So it looked like I was bad at communicating again, or looked like I again was messing up on my own end, but I wasn't. It was just well, the Wi-Fi and the internet, things that are out of my control was, and I was sitting in this laundry mat. I was so upset and on the verge of tears. Like I just needed to cry, be mad at the world. I needed to, it sounds so stupid when I think about it now, but I was like so caught up in my own bullshit and I like needed to just cry so badly, but I literally couldn't. I could not leave my laptop unattended in this laundry mat, the only place that gets Wi-Fi fast enough. And I could not leave, I couldn't even go to the bathroom. Could not leave my thousand dollar laptop and my expensive hard drives sitting on this table just so I could go to the bathroom or that I could go cry in my car. I just sit there just like steaming and stewing in my own emotions. And I was like so mad and upset that it like borderline ruined the rest of my time in Wisconsin. And I was like texting my friend and I was like, I'm done with this. Like I, you know, I, I tried to make this great video that I know is a great video and I want it to do well. But of course, like the upload times are off and it took me four hours more editing than I wanted it to. And now, you know, the internet's not working and now it's going to come out late and no one's going to watch it and it's going to fail. And why did I even bother? And like, why didn't I just, you know, manage my time more spiraling, spiraling, spiraling. So I finally get the video uploaded and as it's premiering, I like to sit in the live chats with you guys and talk through the live chats of the video. As I'm walking outside, again, still in my own bullshit, I still have not cried today. I'm absolutely starving, haven't eaten, need to go to the bathroom, need to cry. And I walk to my car and someone stops me because I have my earbuds in and they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Told myself I would never do this, but they're like, are you Christine Snaps? So I'm having like one of the worst days ever on the verge of like throwing in the towel and calling it quits. And this person stops me. I feel like I'm gonna cry. It's not a sad story, but and they're like, oh, I watch your videos. They're like, I just want to let you know that I, I can't, I can't remember the details because it's so off, caught me off guard. Either they have cancer or had cancer or they're going through treatment for cancer. And oh, like, I just wanted to let you know. Why am I crying? They're like, oh, I just wanted to let you know that like your videos like truly helped me through all that. I really enjoy your videos that helped a lot. <laughs> the universe was like, here's a reminder, relax. It's not that serious. And also like, just keep doing what you're doing. It's okay if the video goes up late. So there was that. And then it went up fine. The video performed very well and it was fine and I did get to relax the rest of my vacation it was just like a, a really long day <sighs> and you know what's funny is I also on that trip filmed the waffle in the woods video which is one of my favorite videos I think I filmed the waffle in the woods and then I filmed the never have I ever and then that's when everything like went to shit but I think the waffle in the woods video was posted after and it's one of my favorite videos so it was just like a very emotional ping pong of a week but it was like a rough one I still think about it all the time and then the other like breakdown I had again about miss, it was about mistakes. It was about poor time management. It was about, you know, breaking the schedule that I set for myself and that I thought everyone was going to like <laughs> yell at me if I didn't abide by. When I was filming the second week in the life video that I put out, I think it's when I was traveling. I was driving all the way up to Minnesota to visit my friend and my old roommate, Allie. On my way traveling up there, it was a Friday. I stopped at a, it's in the video. I stopped at a rest stop and I'm seeing if my video uploaded and it didn't. I accidentally uploaded the trailer of the video and not the Friday video. I'm on the highway and I have another four hours to drive. I can't even, I can't even fix this problem. It's not like I can just stop and upload this video real quick. You know, like I maybe could have stopped at a Starbucks or something. I just wasn't thinking. I was going to taking this long trip 
from where I live to Minnesota. And I was gonna stop at this one small coffee shop that I found as a fun thing for me to do. But since that video didn't upload, I was like, oh my gosh, when I go to the coffee shop, they usually have Wi-Fi, I'll try and upload the video there. Okay, great, let's do that. I get to that coffee shop, again, the Wi-Fi is so bad. I sit there for like an hour trying to get this video, the right video to upload, doesn't work. It says it's gonna take two hours. And then it starts, I'm sitting outside and it starts raining. Fine. Again, everything starts piling on, like the anxiety that I'm missing the deadlines. I had the video done and it would have been fine if I would have just checked it, but I didn't. And now I don't have Wi-Fi and I'm, you know, I'm, I still have to drive how many hours and now it's going to get dark. And I had planned to get there during the day. So then by the time I finally drive up, get to Allie's house, um, I think I finally ended up uploading the video at like 9 p.m. And I was like, this video is going to perform so badly at 9 p.m. People don't expect me to post at 9 p.m. No one's going to watch it. I don't know why my mentality is so tied closely with like the scheduling times of when I do stuff. I don't know why. I don't think it even matters. You know what? I, telling these whole stories, next year I should start changing up my uploading times just to see if, what that does. Just to do a little experiments. I should honestly do that to break myself out of this cycle that it like has to be so. Maybe we'll try that next year. We'll just upload a couple of random videos and see what happens. Um, <laughs> Something else happened. I think on the way home from that trip, I also didn't have a Monday video. So I messed up the Friday upload, didn't come out till late, and then I don't have a video for Monday. But I never told you guys on the community tab that I wasn't gonna have a video. I just wasn't gonna post one. And then I was like, what's wrong with me? Why didn't I just say like, hey guys, I messed up, I'm traveling, I don't have a video. No, instead I stopped on my way home from this whole trip, I stopped in Eau Claire, Wisconsin at like a random library and I decided to film like a 20 minute video in my car of me explaining myself and how it's been like so crazy and I like feel like I'm like letting everyone down and I filmed this whole video, then went into the library and edited it and then uploaded it in this library. It took me like two and a half hours and then decided still not to post that video and then just to put on the community tab, oh, no video today, guys, sorry. Cause I was talking to my friend Courtney. I just made this video in the library talking about like, you know, how I messed up and how like, you know, everything's getting like so fucked up and like, I don't know what's going on. And she's like, don't post it, it is okay. Just say you're not posting a video and then, you know, get back on your schedule next week. Like, I just like, I don't think you should be making a video right now, like talking about it. It's fine. You are fine. So a couple times this year, there are some hiccups, which I don't think too many, I don't think you guys really like picked up on, which is fine. You weren't supposed to pick up on it, but there were like a couple ups and downs this year, especially like in the summer, something was going on. So I'm just going to try and learn from that. I think that's smart. We should like, I should just like randomly throw up some videos next year and see what happens. Cause I do not have to stick to a time and a schedule. That is so weird that I like have put that rule in place. That's a made up rule. <laughs> It might help for the algorithm, but that, like still, if it's a good video, it should, it'll perform well no matter when you post it, right? All right. I just wanted to like let you guys behind the scenes a little bit now that like the year is done so we can reflect and move forward. I was just like drowning in my own bullshit there for a couple of weeks behind the scenes and it's fine. It happens. It's life. That's normal. It's always gonna happen. I thought I would be transparent about it now. That's what was happening. I don't really like to tell people what's going on in the moment. I love to do a little, a little reflection. It was bad been there for a couple of weeks, but we're fine. We're good. I definitely have learned from it. So now we're done with that. Some honorable mentions about videos that were just straight up fun to make. Testing holiday gift ideas that I posted a couple weeks ago. That one was fun. Got a little couple different, you know, shooting locations. It was like doing a PO box video, but it was stuff that I had already ordered and got to test out. Never have I ever White Castle. <laughs> that video was fun to edit and I didn't realize how weird of food items White Castle had. I just think it was a fun video. Or is that a scale? No. Mm -mm. What? Dry as hell. We got sewage in the fryer. It's a little foggy. Like Peter Piper picked the peppers and put them in here himself. Fish nuggets? Oh my God. I love chicken patty. Who the fuck is Steven? Gooey butter cake. The big shabay. <gasps> My lips are tingling. Where's the pickle? What are you doing? Booger onions on there. Oh, I really enjoyed that one. Okay, so then let's wrap it up. I'm sure this video is long. I've been looking at how much footage I've been filming. It's gonna be a long one. No wonder these videos do horrible. They're long, not funny. I cried. <laughs> one point staring at my pieces of paper like here today on the snaps news we're having breakdowns left and right i want to wrap it up talking about youtube i'd like to tell you who got who i watch on youtube uh there's a channel called aaron and joe where they review movies it's just two guys sitting in an apartment room reviewing movies for some reason they make me laugh i like them 
not for some reason. I mean, <laughs> but like they're just hanging out. There's a channel I've definitely talked about before. Caleb Hammer. He's a financial guy. He literally sits down and audits people's finances, people from all walks of life and different age groups and, you know, people who are like doing well in their career and have money and people who like are on food stamps and, you know, can't afford their rent. He's the one that posts so consistently, but he has a whole team of people working with him. His channel has shot up this past year. And I've also, I've, I've learned a lot from it about finances. The other one is Scott Kramer. He's a pretty big YouTuber and he makes very good video essays about stuff. He seems like a genuinely nice dude. He's been making, you know, videos forever. I just really like his stuff. And speaking of Scott, I just watched his like YouTube year in review thing. His was like an hour long. It was crazy. He was very in depth. Good for him. But he had mentioned something that he does. He has a playlist on his YouTube page called My Personal Favorites. Piggybacking off that idea, I'm going to borrow that. But I'm going to make a playlist like that. Name it something like Snaps Favorites or whatever. Because that's like nice to have. That's like if you really want a genuine answer of what videos I've liked the most making or doing or what I'm the most proud of. Boom, ba da ba ba. Right there. You can watch all my favorites. It's like getting like a movie recommendation list from somebody. Well, what do you recommend? I'm like, have you seen the Waffles in the Woods video? Did you see when she tried fast food fish? And then, okay, goals. Goals for this next year. Everyone needs goals, I guess. Um, And also like ways to help the channel. Okay, like I said, I want to do more crafting videos. Not talk about them so much, just do them. I want to do my mini donut maker that I just bought. I still want to do the spending 24 hours in my car video. That is still on the docket. I kind of want to save it for when we hit 200,000 subscribers, but I don't, that could be another two years. If I only get 10,000 subscribers a year, that could be two years. I don't, I don't think we should wait that long. So maybe that video, um, the a never have I ever like drinking video, maybe us trying seltzers or us trying, you know, different types of beer that I've never tried before. And then I kind of want to do a couple commentary videos. I don't know how to screen record my laptop. And I know those videos usually get hella copyrighted. So that might be a little side project that I work on. That would be another way to use my brain creatively is to like react to media. Me watching media reacting to it might be fun. Also, just for just for one second, I know I've made you wear many hats today. An audience member, a friend, a shoulder to cry on. Put our business partner hats on. Put our data analyst uh, hat on. Not as a viewer, but as like a person invested in the business of Christine Snaps. Interesting fact. Last year, I looked at the statistics of who's watching the videos. The viewers, you guys, were pretty much 50% unsubscribed. Um, but this year, 73% of the people watching are subscribed. So that's good. We're moving in the positive direction. People are subscribing and more of the regular viewers are subscribers. So thank you so much. That's great. I think that's a good stat. <laughs> I was happy to see it. Um, so we just need to work on next year as far as like goals. We just need to get more unique viewers. So that's like when you share a video with someone who's never heard of the channel or whatever, we just get more unique viewers. We get them to subscribe and then we just got a bunch of goobers running around in the comments. <laughs> And next year for goals, I want to work on better thumbnails. I'm not very good at making thumbnails. I've gotten better. I've learned a little more editing. I do not have the systems to edit thumbnails. I'm not really good at Photoshop, but I want to work on that. Make sure you just keep liking the videos and you subscribe to the channel, please. And thank you. Um, Leave likes, leave comments. More importantly, share. Share the video. If you think someone would like, I've tried food from Olive Garden and people are like, oh, I know someone who loves Olive Garden. Show them the video, share it with them. So we can get new goobers on the channel, new subscribers. We can keep growing. Growing and going. Ooh, ah, duck, dive. But yeah, that's the year in review. I, this is gonna be such a long video to edit. I can already tell. I got the gift of gab. I could talk your off. Oh my God. I like locked you guys into a business meeting. They're like, hey, can we meet up for coffee? It'll take about 15 minutes. I just wanna talk to you about something. Turns into a two hour business meeting. They're like, oh, for the, I'll just fire myself from the company. I can't sit here any longer. Thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate it. For all the views this year, for all the comments, for all the laughs, the hee hees, the who's, the good times, all the stuff that you guys do to help the channel grow and be what it is. Well, I always say, but I love this little community we have here. I love being in the live chats. I love, you know, getting feedback. Feedback. I get to go and do these fun opportunities like go to the movie theater go hang out with Lacey in Ohio and have like little you know memories stored away in these videos that I can look back on so I'm actually pretty excited for next year because I already have a buttload of ideas <laughs> that I need to get working on. So um, I'm hoping for big things. Please comment down below about anything that I wanted feedback on or what you want to see on the channel or what we think about this, that, and the other thing. Cause I'm sure I talked about it all and I talked to your off. We'll just throw some paint on the canvas and see what sticks. Hopefully all paint, all paint should stick to a canvas. I don't know of any paint that's anti-canvas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll throw some content up on the page and we'll see what sticks. Maybe the video just poof, deletes out of nowhere. <laughs> you know, I've been talking to myself too long because the metaphors are getting real metaphorical. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye. Oh my, ow. I just hit the mini donut maker.